Hey guys, welcome to a special episode of PC Building Simulator. We're here in free build mode. Thought it'd be fun today to try something a little bit different. Thought maybe we'd try to build the most expensive PC that we can build. So let's start off grabbing a case. I know which one I'm going for. It's the Eragentech. Is it Inyo? The Inyo. You know anything about trying to build expensive PCs in this game? You know about this case. It can hold four 480 millimeter radiators and one 360 millimeter radiator. So we're going to get this thing all taken apart. We're going to start off putting some of those radiators. Actually, we're going to put all those radiators in. Got 480, the Corsair Hydro X series, the XR7 480. Get one put there. Get one down here on the bottom. There we go. Get another one up here on the top. We're going to put another one over here on the other side of the case. And then we're going to get the same Corsair Hydro X series, but we're going to get a 360 millimeter. It's the XR7. It's another one of these thick boys. And we're going to put it right there. So a total of five. Look at how thick those things are. A total of five super thick radiators. That's absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. Could anybody ever need that much cooling? I don't know. I don't know. I know that we're going to go for a Threadripper build, though, because right now, right now, the 39, what is it, the 3990X, the Threadripper 3990X is by far the most expensive CPU in the game. But let's grab a motherboard. We need an STRX motherboard. Let's do fits this PC, just so we don't get things... That won't even fit. They won't fit. So, I'm going to go with this Asus ROG Zenith 2 Extreme Alpha. Because it's $850. But I believe, if I'm right, I don't know which one it is. It's one of these Gigabyte. I think it's one of these Gigabyte ones. I don't remember. Or maybe it doesn't fit this case. But there's a Gigabyte one that's the same price. But I'm going to go with this one because it looks better and it fits this case. And it holds four M.2 drives, which that's very important when you're trying to build the most expensive thing you can. But first, let's get the 3990X in there. Because that thing is $3,990. There it is right there, $3,990. It's a very expensive, very expensive CPU. We're also going to put in the most expensive RAM we can find, which is some Trident Z. I believe it was 4,800 megahertz. Let's see, 4,800. Yep, there it is. We're going to put in eight sticks of that. I'll do this quickly with getting these installed. Oops. So we do have eight. Oh, I'm clicking all crazy. I'm clicking all crazy today. So there's that. I mean, we're already up to $10,950. That's already an incredibly expensive PC. But we're not done yet. We get some storage in there. We're going to go for the VP4100 2 terabyte. We're going to put four of those in here because they're $500 a piece. And then we've got this little card up here where it allows us to put two more. Two more of these things. So eight terabytes of super fast, super fast storage. Yep, it's starting to get a little crazy. It's starting to get a little crazy in here. Let's grab some more water cooling parts. Let's get some reservoirs. 
Well, let's see. We're going to go for these these Alpha Cool, whatever that says, Esh Beaker. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to murder it because I think it's uh, German. I think that's a German company. And I don't speak German, but this case holds two of these. Two of these monsters. Look at that. This is going to be something to behold when we get done with it. For sure. Let's get some thermal paste on that big CPU. And we're going to go ahead. We're going to grab a CPU block for that thing. The most expensive one is this Ragentech CWB TR4. So we're going to put that on there. I want to say, yeah, it's $420 for that. I mean, this this bill is, is getting up there. Look at that. $14,210. So far, we're not even done yet. We're not even done. All right, so next, next we're gonna go back over here. We're gonna get some more storage. We're gonna get the Corsair LE 200 960 gig SSDs. We're gonna put four of those on here. They kind of install on this little back wall. There's four of those. Now we're up to 15,000. 610. How much were those? I don't remember how much those were. I looked it up before I started this. $350 a piece. So we've got four of those at $350 a piece. Yep. Starting to get somewhere now. Let's get a power supply in this thing. We all know that that... What is it? A cooler master? It's a... Yeah, Cooler Master, Master Watt Maker, 1200 MIJ. This thing's $999. We're going to get that installed. We're really getting up there now. This case looks like it's meant to hold two power supplies, but it won't let you. It just won't let you put two of them in. But if it did, this thing would be another $1,000 more expensive by far. So, let's see. Where were we? Where were we? We need some graphics cards. We need some graphics cards in this thing. So, uh, let's grab some water-cooled GPUs. I'm going to go with the most expensive ones, which are the 2080 Ti's. Obviously, there's a few of them that are all in that $1,550 range, I think they are. Uh, I think this Aorus, not the Super, the other one. I think this Aorus 2080 Ti, possibly this one. I know this one is, but this Zotac one is also in that price range. So we're going to put two of those in. So yeah, $1,550. So we're going to install two of these Zotac ones just because I like the way they look. Has nothing to do because they're all, all about the same price for those custom water-cooled 2080 Ti's. I just like the way they look. Okay. So I think... I think we're just about ready to start cabling this thing up. So I'm actually going to add some case fans across the bottom, which will make this go up in price. But... You can't plug those case fans in until you get all your radiators plugged in, or it won't let you get everything plugged in for some reason. I've tried this already, just so you know. I've tried this already, but I thought it'd be fun to build it with you guys. So yeah, we're going to put some fans down here as well. But let's go ahead, let's start cabling stuff up. We're going to use... For some reason, I love purple and white together. So you'll have to forgive me, but I'm going purple and white for this particular build. We're gonna get everything cabled up so that we can start running tubing. Let's see. See if I remember how to get all this stuff connected. 
do that one, this one, then we'll do all these SSDs under here. Okay, and now I think, I think we can get these case fans put in. Yep, they start with MF. <laughs> they start with MF, MF 120s by GamerStorm. Maybe GamerStorm doesn't understand what MF stands for, I don't know. But that's what they named their fans. So we're gonna get these cabled up now, I believe. Nope, we're gonna have issues. So I apparently cabled something wrong. Okay, so let me step away for a moment. Uh, let me get these cables sorted out so you guys don't have to watch me decable this whole thing and recable it all back up. I'm gonna get it all sorted out. I'll be right back. Okay, so that took way longer. So glad you guys didn't have to watch that. That took way longer than it should have. But look, everything's working. All the fans, all the fans are working. Now we've just got to get this thing piped up. So again, that's probably going to take some time because I've got to run from like these radiators under here and up over here. I don't know if you guys want to sit through that, but maybe we'll see. Let's, uh, let's get some piping picked out though. Let's do, let's do some white rigid and then we'll do these purple EK fittings. All right. So we've got all the tubing run. Look at this. Runs around the back, runs through the case, up over the top. This thing is crazy, this loop. Absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. Let's get, let's get some, what am I looking for? Oh, custom water cooling. Let's get some coolant in this thing. I'm going to go with this pink opaque that matches the purple cables. We're going to let this run through gonna take a little bit of time while that's doing that let's uh let's grab a usb drive and go ahead and get that installed still saying empty loop i don't know why i don't know why that doesn't make any sense but let's power this thing on let's hop into the bios let's make sure our xmp's turned on i don't know which one of these we don't want to do a Corsair. We'll do a Patriot Viper. This is going to be a little bit faster. Let's let the OS go ahead and install on this thing. There we go. Nice and quick. Let's get some stuff on here. Let's get the lighting app. Uh, we may want to overclock the GPU. Let's get that on. Let's do 3D Mark. We'll let this thing go ahead and restart. Oh, yeah, we're going to need to change some colors. There we go. So let's hop in here. Let's do purple. There we go. Much, much better. Much better much better let's run a 3d mark test i'm gonna step away while this thing runs as soon as it gets a score i'll come back and then maybe we'll overclock the gpu a little bit see if we can't get this thing to do an even better score so i'll be back in just a moment there it is 18,144. i think we can do a little bit better than that though i think so i think we can i don't know why this thing's saying empty loop because if it was truly empty if it was truly empty, we would not have gotten a score at all. You know what I want to do? I want to get this thing put back together. I'm going to get the glass pieces, or at least most of the glass pieces, put back on. I want to see what this sucker looks like. Jeez, that's so wide. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Let's overclock this. Let's overclock it a little bit. Uh, these can usually go water-cooled. I'm trying to remember. I want to say, like, 
540 something. 540 something, I think, was what I did when I was testing this out before I built this one with you guys. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what we can get. I'm going to let this run again and we'll see what we get this time. So there it is. We didn't blue screen or anything. 21,895. 21,895. So that's what you get for $19,949. That is, this is a crazy build, $19,949. If you guys can make one that costs more, show me, tell me, tell me about it down in the comments. I would like to see. This was as much as I could spend. I think it's a pretty cool build. Pretty cool. This thing is a beast. An absolute beast. All right, so there it is, guys. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, let me know down in the comments. Maybe we can do like a cheapest build or something. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified as soon as one of these videos goes live. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe out there, guys. Be sure to wash your hands, and I will see you in the next episode.